Hello. In this video, we are going to derive an expression for the work required for the reversible isothermal expansion of a van der Waals gas. First, a reminder of the van der Waals equation. The pressure P is equal to RT divided by V minus NB minus AN squared over V squared, where P is the pressure, T is the thermodynamic temperature, V is the volume, A and B are constants uh, specific to a particular gas in the van der Waals equation, and N is the number of moles of gas. The work, W, of reversible isothermal expansion is equal to minus the integral from V1 to V2 of P dV. Next, we simply substitute our expression for the pressure of a van der Waals gas into our integral here to get minus the integral from V1 to V2 of our pressure expression dV. Then we use the fact that the integral is a linear operator so that we can break up this integral into two integrals. Being careful, minus minus gives us plus in front of the second integral. Again, we can use the properties of integrals to tidy up. We can pull the RT out in front here, just as well as pulling the AN squared. So we can more clearly see the critical parts of the integral here, which is dV over V minus NB, and then dV over V squared. For the first integral, we realize that V minus NB is simply a function U. DV would simply, um, DU would simply be DV in that case. So this is the equivalent to the integral of DU over U. And we recognize that the antiderivative in that case is going to be the natural log. So the antiderivative here is going to be the natural log of V minus NB. And then applying the uh, fundamental theorem, we evaluate it at the limits of V1 and V2. And secondly, here we have the integral of dv over v squared. And sometimes it's easier to think of this as uh, v to the minus 2 power. So then we can use our exponent formula and realize that this is going to be minus v to the minus 1. So we have minus 1 over v evaluated between v1 and v2. Then if we evaluate at the limits, we get that the work of reversible isothermal expansion for the van der Waals gas is going to be minus RT times the quantity natural log of V2 minus NB minus natural log of V1 minus NB minus AN squared times the quantity 1 over V2 minus 1 over V1, where we have to be careful of our minus sign here that we pull it out in front. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.